Hi everybody, this is Levi Adler with the Alito team. I'm excited and happy to announce we have a new brokerage now that we've gone with, Keller Williams Heritage West. We have main offices here in Hudson Oaks. We have satellite office in Parker County, well, we're already in Parker County, uh, Hood County, Tarrant County, and Johnson County. Just glad to be here. Been a great group of people. They've been very welcoming. Anytime you want to swing by, please give me a call. Let me know. Happy to get you a cup of coffee if you want to sit down you have any questions for me. We're right across from the Walmart here in Hudson Oaks, right next to Mama's Pizza and the AT&T store. Anyway, so real quick here, I want to go over some unique things that the Alito team offers. We have a Heroes and Veterans program. Uh, heroes, doctors, first responders, policemen, firemen, teachers, anybody who is in the military but as far as before and active duty all qualify for our thousand dollars we give cash back after closing so i write a check out of our commission for a thousand dollars back to you now some people do other things but we're all, well we've, we've bought gutters before we've done other stuff but a thousand dollars we also have a referral program you give us a solid referral for a buy or a sell we'll give you a $50 Amazon gift card. Now that doesn't mean we have to wait till they close, none of that thing. You call me up and say, hey, my mom's looking for a house. And I said, all right, I really appreciate it. Reach out to your mom, everything checks out. We get you a $50 gift card. That could take 10 minutes. Uh, on top of that, we do a realtor bonus split. So right now, uh, they're, uh, for instance, uh, DR Horton, and they're offering a 6% commission on a sale of a home. Anything over 3%, I'm gonna split with you. So that extra 3%, so I take my normal three, that extra three, I'm gonna split with you. So that's an extra 1.5% cash back that you guys are gonna get with the Realtor bonus split on close. All right, so let's get into some meat and potatoes. Uh, the simple six steps to buying a home. I say simple. Simple and easy are not the same thing. A lot of people confuse that. First one that most realtors don't want to talk about is should you buy a home? And the question is, are you going to be in one spot for more than five years? Then you probably should buy a home. If the rental market is moving faster than the actual uh, purchase or purchasing a home, if you're going to outpace what it costs you to buy a house now and rents are going to outpace it within a year to 18 months, makes sense to purchase a home now and you typically want to do that the apples to apples uh, a lot of people like oh we're gonna buy a house and they want this five bedroom monstrosity but they're renting a three bedroom well try and stick to apples to apples it's a great way to great way to look at it next step is the pre-approval the one that everybody doesn't like and everybody wants to skip once you have your pre-approval your budget then we can go or we can look ahead of time obviously I'm, I have no problem showing somebody a house but their my time and your time is valuable knowing where you stand financially is extremely important disappointment or uh, being discouraged this is this is how it happens but here's the other thing that people don't think about you want to buy a four hundred fifty thousand dollar house that's your dream home this is where we start yeah you may, may only qualify for 420 you may only qualify for 390 but there are ways to get you to the get you to where you need to be. I cannot start that conversation until you call me. Speaking of which, 682-239-0186. That's Levi, 682-239-0186, thealitoteam.com, or just alitoteam.com. Please feel free to reach out anywhere in Fort Worth area. Again, Parker County, Tarrant County. We go into Weiss, Johnson work all around the West End. Typically, I don't go past Grand Prairie, but you know, if, if, if uh, I'm not busy, I'm happy to help. Uh, so, pre-approval. Finding out where you are and where to progress is very important, and a lot of people are very discouraged. Look, uh, your income's solvable. I actually have a whole email that breaks down all these various different places that you can apply, from Lockheed to the counties to the cities, Fort Worth PD, uh, some very great friends over there, Fort Worth PD, they do a great job. They're looking for people. Uh, and you can find out, you know, it could be a significant pay increase, it could be a significant benefits increase. Another big thing is to reduce your debt to income ratio, it's a whole nother angle. 
And that we don't know any of that until we go through that process. It only takes about 45 minutes. Now, if you own your own business, it might take a little bit longer just because we have to go back, but typically a W-2, I can tell you really quick, roughly about what you can qualify for. Next one, everybody likes the beginning of finding a home, but it gets exhausting quickly. But for what, finding the right home, it's absolutely worth the patience, and that can, you know, uh, it really can take, in some cases, I'm, I'm, some of my clients, I'm over a year now, but we found the right home uh, for some uh, uh, excellent clients of mine here in December. Uh, I was very proud of that find. Uh, we're over a year with them too. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, and then the negotiations. So when you find the one you like, being able to walk away is a very powerful part of negotiations. Uh, not immediate responding. I'm, I'm, again, I'm happy to go through all those things. Typically it takes one to three days. Uh, it can take anywhere from two hours to weeks in some cases. Uh, but typical one to three days. Then we go into closing. Once we have an executed contract, gonna run you about a month. I've closed as fast as, as, fast as 14 days. Actually, I've closed uh, like one in like six days, but then we don't talk about that. Anyway, from 14 days, uh, so typically four to five months is really high. If you're doing a new build, you can't close on anything until you're actually done with the new build. And for luxury or larger homes, that can take up to 12 months. Typically, it takes anywhere from four to seven right now. Uh, there was kind of a bump with uh, supply and demand and materials, but a lot of that's gone away. A lot of things have gotten very evened out. <clears throat> and here's the other step that a lot of people skip. You bought the house, that's awesome, congratulations. Do not forget to file your tax exemptions with the county. Once you have your driver's license with the address on there, go down to the tax exemption office, you'll fill it out, they'll walk you through it. They're all very nice, very pleasant people. And it caps how much they can value your house, in increase the value of your home that they can tax you on every year. It is very important that you do this. Please don't forget, even if you, know, even if you didn't buy through me, please call, I'm happy to kind of give you pointers. It's very simple. Uh, Driver's license, address, take it down to the county and get a paperwork filed right there. No trouble at all. Levi, 682-239-0186 or the alitoteam.com, alitoteam.com. All right, so you want to buy a house, kind of, you know, I'm, I'm leery or you don't know. Typically you need credit score for an FHA 580 plus. They like it at least 600. For a conventional, you want 720 or more. For a VA, actually doesn't have credit requirements, but typically a good idea is to stick to 580 or more. Uh, <clears throat> once you have the credit, or once you've worked towards the credit, you're, uh, they also do. Uh, there's there's other other um, avenues or financial ways to buy a home, but most people run through these. You got. VA FHA, which FHA is the same thing as a first time home buyer. You can use, and a lot of people have that misconception too, you can use your FHA over and over again. You can't have it at the same time though. So if you sell one, buy one, you can do that on an FHA. So a misnomer is first time home buyer. Uh, it has the designs in it for people who are just starting out because it has a three and a half percent down payment. So let's get into down payment. How much does it cost to actually purchase the home? A lot of people see the down payment and they think that's it. No, you want the down payment and the closing costs. So a really good scenario, uh, um, your newer, uh, some of your, your uh, kind of uh, blue collar builders right now are actually brand new homes. They're covering all the closing costs. So I've got VA clients who did a zero down payment. The builder covered the closing costs. And then we gave them $1,000 cash back. And then there's a realtor bonus on top of it. We were writing uh, uh, checks very, you know, over $2,000, $3,000 to some of the active duty guys over here on the flight line, JRB, great bunch, hi guys. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> to buy a home, they were zero out of pocket. I mean, initially, yes, you, you have to put something down for, uh, for earnest money, but overall, when everything was all said and done, they were net positive after buying a brand new home. Uh, please, again, if you wanna know, wanna talk about it, 682-239-0186. Now, 
If you're not a veteran or you're not active duty, let's talk about FHA. So first time home buyer, FHA, same thing. You don't have to be a first time home buyer. Three and a half percent down and on used inventory or I think right now FHA is capped at $550,000 borrowed. So, uh, you know, there's there's some, you're getting into some really nice, uh, nice building or nice homes at $500,000. Uh, but the most of those brand new builders will cover the closing costs. However, if you're buying a pre-existing home, figure you need on an FHA, you're gonna need 3.5 plus 2%, five and a half percent down. So let's take a $400,000 house that's $22,000 on an FHA loan total for closing costs and everything. So you did a 3.5% down and then you paid closing costs of about 2%. That's about $22,000. That is on a pre-owned home. It's a little bit of a different, excuse me, it's a very different conversation when we're talking new builds. <clears throat> now, conventionals. Conventionals are their advantage uh, typically a higher down payment. Usually you're gonna get a little bit better of an interest rate. But when when you exceed a 20% loan to value, in other words, the uh, value of the home is 20% higher than the uh, actual loan itself, you no longer have to pay PMI. Now that's insurance that you pay on your mortgage to the bank in case you fail. It's significant. It can range anywhere from ninety dollars to up to like four, four, five hundred dollars, depending. But once you eliminate that, if you're over the twenty percent, when you have a conventional, you hire an appraiser, you go back to the bank, and you say, "Look, my house is worth four hundred thousand dollars. The loan's only right now running at. Oh, let me do some math real quick here. Three hundred and fifty thousand dollars at fifty thousand dollars in equity, and just like that, you don't have to pay PMI." You don't have that advantage with FHA. VA does not pay PMI. It's one of the big advantages there. Uh, also with VA, you're, uh, uh, for those veterans who are disabled, uh, we can definitely have that conversation. 100% disabled do not pay property taxes in Texas for all of you people not in Texas. That's right. One of the largest taxes we have in Texas is property tax. 100% disabled veterans do not pay property taxes. It's huge. It's not deferred. They do not pay property taxes. Uh, and then there's a scale. 90% does pay a pretty significant amount, and it scales from there for, for uh, dis disabled veterans. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, please do give me a call. 682-239-0186. That's Levi. 682-239-0186. And the Alito team .com. I appreciate your time. We're very happy to be here in Hudson Oaks with our new offices, Keller Williams Heritage West, and we really look forward to hearing from you.